Well, following some developing news that six jurors are now seated during day two of former President Trump's hush money trial. The first of four criminal cases facing the former president began yesterday when lawyers, uh, lawyers face an uphill battle to find 12 jurors who can put their politics aside. One potential juror who said that she could take on the challenge was dismissed because it would have been a burden for her to take off from work. It's very difficult for anyone really in this country to not come to this with prior opinions. I think we we all have prior opinions about the defendant unless you've been like living in a cardboard box since 2014. Um, but personally, I the right to a fair trial in this country is more important to me than anything this particular defendant has done or any feelings about him that I personally have. Um, and then I think in order to uphold that, um, I was willing to put everything aside as much as I could. Now, Trump is charged with 34 felony counts of falsifying business records. You're taking a live look outside of the courthouse where court is still in session. Judge Juan Mershon said that court could continue on today beyond 430 when it typically closes. Prosecutors say that the former president covered up hush money payments to adult film star Stormy Daniels uh, during the president's 20, uh, former president's 2016 campaign. Now, in the court of public opinion, roughly one third or 35 percent of U.S. adults believe that Trump did something illegal in this specific case. That's according to a new poll from the Associated Press and NORC Center for Public Affairs Research. That said, half of those surveyed would consider him unfit to serve as president if he's convicted. 